Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to go over how to draw a Santa hat. It's a little bit early for Christmas, but hey, I just thought let's start it out um, just to test the water. This is gonna be easy and for beginners. So if you're a complete beginner and you've never drawn anything your whole life, you should be able to draw this. Grab a marker, preferably. You can do it with a pencil if you want. You can do it with whatever, it doesn't really matter. But I prefer a marker. I'm using this. This is a Crayola brand marker. You know, really cheap, really inexpensive paper. Um, this paper is computer paper, and that is it. So you probably have this kind of paper lying around. So let's get started. And we're gonna make this very easy. So right now what I'm imagining in my mind is I'm gonna imagine a rectangle. The rectangle is gonna be the bottom part of that hat that wraps around your head. So I'm gonna imagine that in my mind's eye, but you don't really have to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw these kind of ball shapes, like almost like cloud over and over again. Alrighty. And remember, I'm thinking about that imaginary rectangle down here. So on this thing, I'm kind of following that as well, doing that same pattern. Now I'm gonna go across the bottom here. Going here. Remember, we, we this is like, uh, in my mind, I'm imagining just a rectangle, and I'm gonna go over here as well and do these same exact ball patterns. But, see, so for example, what that entire thing, it looks like a fluffy rectangle, right? And that's kind of what you wanna do. You wanna simplify these things in your mind's eye as you're doing them. Um, and it's really, really simple to do, especially if you're thinking in, in very simple shapes. You're thinking of like a triangle, a rectangle. You know, square is like the same thing, right? It's just not stretched out you know, like a rectangle is, um, and a circle. So all that stuff is remarkably, remarkably simple. Uh, I'm gonna pull a line upward over here for the center. I'm gonna pull over here on this side. It's gonna be, imagine like, again, like a triangular shape, but because this is all cloth, it doesn't, it's not really gonna it could follow an exact triangle, but as long as you're close enough like this, you know, it, it will work. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I am posting three times every single weekday. Uh, it's really, really hard to do, actually. It's not hard to draw this stuff. That's the easy part. The editing is what's really, really hard for me, and I really drained every day. So, like, if you like, if you like the stuff you see on here and you think, if you think I'm worth your time, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. There's no downside to it in any way. There's just all good. Um, and that is it. Yeah, please subscribe if you can. It helps out the channel as well when you do that. Pulling uh, arc around here. Pulling down. And that's the cloth kind of bending around the corner. Downward here. Now I'm gonna imagine like a ball, right? At the end of it, you're, you're doing this like, again, fluffy. It's like fluffy, right? With that with that texture, that pattern, but it's, it's in the shape of a circle. And that's kind of, um, just kind of important to note because it's real simple. So now we can do, we pretty much have that. We, we, we can do the detail and the detail would be like, indications of shadow, indications of it, right? Not actual shadow. So I'm gonna put the exact same line right here. Boom, 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 boom. That same pattern. And what that shows, it shows a difference of form. Line over here, line over here. You can do it along this end as well. You're pulling another line and that, what that does, it just kind of adds to the details in general. Pulling up here. You, these don't have to be straight lines either. They can be, you know, like dotted lines up, you know, it can be whatever you want. What you're doing is you're just showing, you're just adding extra detail because you know why? You can add all this stuff because your main image is solid. You have the hat, you have that main part. And it's kind of like when you have a building and you have like a house and you're just putting up um, you know, the, 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 the decorations on the wall, right? That's kind of what this is. You have the solid fixture, 
you're putting up these decorations, it can be almost almost whatever, and it really won't matter because the picture itself is solid already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thicken the line around the entire contour. And the reason I wanna do that is because I want it to look more like a sticker. like that sticker look it just has like this cool it kind of contains a complexity inside when you do put like a thick line on the outside while I'm doing that let me talk to you a little bit about the channel um, I've been doing the channel for about um, six years and it's really been a big deal for me and I would say about two months ago I started adding that three three videos a day because I was inside a lot so why not and I, I just noticed that there was a great you know boost in the whole channel and there was just like a great boost in energy and, it, and I started noticing I feel really good coming here. <laughs> like I felt good interacting like much better than normal because there's just so many new people. Um, so I kind of got addicted to it. So that's why I'm doing three every single uh, weekday, three new uh, easy tutorials, easy lessons. Um, but yeah, if you do want to support the channel, I'm just going to talk to you as I'm kind of, all I'm doing is thickening out the line on the outside. As I'm, um, if you do want to help the channel, if you if you are really concerned about it, at, uh, or like not concerned, but if you do want to help out, the best thing you can possibly do is sharing a video, any video. It can be this video. Whenever you share it, I think there's even a share button on the bottom there on YouTube. You can share it on Twitter. You can share it on Facebook. You can share it on Pinterest. Uh, you can share it with like just a friend. Just copy the URL and share it with one friend. When you do share it, it brings this huge, huge boost of positivity to the channel. And it's such a big deal for me. And uh, it just kind of helps me stay sane, honestly, because I'm indoors a bunch. So it's like, wow, there's so many people like interacting with me in the comment section or, you know, just kind of, uh, I don't know, it just feels great. There's the vibe goes so high and I love it. Um, but yeah, so please consider it. Like I said, if you do enjoy the channel, if you think my stuff's worth your time in general, uh, please consider sharing. And I, it's not, it's, it's kind of like similar to tipping a waiter. Uh, for service, but except this one doesn't take money, right? This is just like your time, I guess. And that is pretty much it. That is a Christmas hat. Um, let me know if you have any requests for anything else. I'm gonna draw a line in here a little bit. Let me know if you have any requests for anything else. I will absolutely, I will absolutely do most anything. I don't know, I, I have a huge list I gotta get to, but I will get to your request eventually. And if you did get to this point in the video, please do me a huge favor and say hi to me. That's awesome. Uh, so I know that you got to this point. Um, and that is it. This has been Easy Pictures to Draw. Don't forget, if you do want an, uh, some cool extras in the description, there's a book. It's a uh, free ebook on how to draw cute. So if you've ever wanted to like learn how to draw cute objects or maybe like take, I don't know, take your, uh, take something and draw it in a cute form, um, this ebook will tell you how. It'll give you the proportions of drawing something cute. Um, it'll make it much, much, much easier, especially if you don't know where to start. So that's completely, completely free. That's in the description. Um, the only, the only catch about that is you have to dig through the description because it's in there somewhere. I don't know. I, di I didn't put it at the top of the description. So you'd have to find it somewhere there. But if you find it, it's completely free. Uh, and you can draw cute stuff after that. So thank you so much. I will talk to you next time.